in a story that spans years, involves multiple suspicious deaths, and delves into extreme religious beliefs, the case of Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow has shocked the world. This is a tale of love turned dark, a blend of apocalyptic prophecies, and the tragic loss of innocent lives. Chad Guy Daybell was born on August 11, 1968, in Provo, Utah. Raised in a devout Mormon family, he was deeply influenced by his faith. Chad attended Brigham Young University, where he met Tammy Douglas. They married in 1990 and had five children together. Chad worked as a gravedigger before becoming a writer and publisher of religious books focusing on apocalyptic themes and near-death experiences. Chad's first wife, Tammy Daybell, died on October 19, 2019. Initially reported as a natural death, she was found dead in her home with Chad claiming she went to bed with a cough and never woke up. Suspicious circumstances, including a significant life insurance policy increase shortly before her death, led to her body being exhumed in December 2019. An autopsy and toxicology tests indicated that Tammy's death was not natural. Authorities suspect asphyxiation or poisoning, leading to Chad and Lori being charged with her murder. Lori Vallow, born Lori Noring Cox, also had a tumultuous personal life. She was a mother of three who had gone through multiple marriages, each ending in tragedy or controversy. Lori became deeply involved in certain Mormon circles and was particularly drawn to Chad Daybell's writings and teachings. Chad and Lori met in 2018 at a religious conference. Their shared interest in apocalyptic prophecies and Chad's doomsday teachings created an instant bond. They believed they were chosen to lead the 144,000 into the new millennium, a concept rooted in Chad's interpretations of Mormon doctrine. As their relationship deepened, Chad and Lori's beliefs became more extreme. They started to see certain people, including Lori's children, as zombies possessed by evil spirits. This delusion led them to believe that these individuals needed to be eliminated. Tylee Ryan, Lori's 17-year-old daughter, was last seen on September 8, 2019, during a visit to Yellowstone National Park with Lori, Alex Cox, Lori's brother, and J.J. Her disappearance raised alarm among extended family members who noticed her absence. Joshua Vallow, Lori's seven-year-old adopted son, was last seen on September 23, 2019, at his elementary school in Rexburg, Idaho. His absence was also noted by family and educators, prompting concern. After months of searching and growing suspicion, the remains of Tylee and J.J. were discovered on June 9, 2020, on Chad Daybell's property in Rexburg, Idaho. Tylee's remains were found dismembered and burned in a fire pit. Forensic analysis showed significant efforts to destroy and conceal her body. J.J.'s body was found wrapped in plastic and duct tape. He had been bound and a plastic bag was placed over his head, indicating suffocation as the likely cause of death. Alex Cox, Lori's brother, played a crucial role in the killings. Evidence showed that Alex's cell phone was at the locations and times corresponding to the children's last known whereabouts and the burial sites. He is believed to have actively participated in the murders and the disposal of the bodies. As suspicions mounted, Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow were arrested in 2020. Lori was initially arrested in Hawaii, where she and Chad had fled after the children were reported missing. Both Chad and Lori face multiple charges, including first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and charges related to the concealment of evidence. Lori Vallow was convicted in 2023 on charges of first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and grand theft in connection with the deaths of Tylee, J.J., and Tammy. She received a life sentence without the possibility of parole. An Idaho jury unanimously decided that Chad Daybell deserves the death penalty for the brutal murders of his wife, Tammy Daybell, and his girlfriend's two youngest children, 16-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old Joshua J.J. Vallow. This verdict concludes a grim case that began in 2019 with the search for two missing children. According to reports, the 55-year-old Daybell, dressed in a shirt and tie, sat with his hands in his lap at the defense table, showing no emotion as he learned he would face the death penalty for the murders. 
Alex Cox, Lori Vallow's brother, his involvement in a series of tragic events marked him as a key figure in the Daybell case. His actions were instrumental in the deaths surrounding his sister, Lori, and her partner, Chad Daybell. Charles Vallow, Lori's estranged husband, was shot and killed by Alex in Chandler, Arizona. Alex claimed self-defense, alleging that Charles attacked him with a bat during an argument. However, this incident raised many questions, especially in light of the subsequent events that unfolded. Shortly after Charles Vallow's death, Lori's children, 16-year-old Tylee Ryan and 7-year-old J.J. Vallow, disappeared in September 2019. Investigators soon discovered that Alex was deeply involved in their disappearance. Cell phone data placed Alex at significant locations, including the exact spots where the children's remains were later found on Chad Daybell's property. The horrific discovery of Tylee's dismembered and burned body in JJ's plastic wrapped body revealed the extent of Alex's participation in this gruesome plot. On December 12, 2019, Alex Cox himself met a sudden and mysterious end. He was found unresponsive in his home in Gilbert, Arizona and was later pronounced dead. An autopsy determined that he died from a pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in his lung. Despite the official ruling of natural causes, his death occurred at a time when law enforcement was intensifying their investigation into the Daybell case. By dying before he could be held accountable in a court of law, Alex Cox escaped justice for his role in these horrific events.